Good morning, folks. Uh, in yesterday's video, uh, we moved the titanium dioxide off the metal and onto the, the borax separator, and uh, with good results, sped up the, uh, the charge time. And so today, I'm trying another uh, borax separator, and this one uh, has graphite on one side of it embedded in the in the membrane and titanium dioxide on the other one and we're gonna we're gonna do that today and uh, I also wanted to mention that uh, Fred suggested I uh, check out IB Pointless 2's uh, videos um, on his glue cells and uh, I did uh, last night and they're uh, they're interesting uh, interesting videos. It's a crystal battery, but he's made it with glue. And uh, uh, we're just going to put the uh, put the membrane on it like that and put some water on it and get to work. Four drops of water. Oh, one thing I did want to mention about um, IB Pointless's videos, he makes the he makes a point <laughs> that uh, uh, you have to uh, let your your glue cells dry real well before you use them and I, I've been letting mine dry but maybe not enough so anyway we're soaking up some water there Put just a little bit more on it so there's like um, I don't know, five drops maybe all together. All right, let's put it together and see what happens. Here we go. We have one fourteen and a slow drop as usual. Oh, slid it apart. Give it just a second to get his charge back. Alright, here we go. 14. Alright. 1, 14, and 14. I'll let that, well, let's check the self charge, see how that's going. Oops. up to one and it's a climbing above the 90 point that's where it usually wants to settle so I'll be back in a couple minutes and we'll try it again all right I'm back it didn't take long it didn't climb very far it settled at 97.6 I think yeah yeah still a real slow climb but 97.7 we'll say 97.7 and our amps are worse 9.2 so that may not be a good idea okay 9.977 all right let's uh let's do it one more time and then i'm going to make a change in it I'll be back in a couple minutes. All right, we're back to the same point again. It may it's starting to go a little higher, you see, but it's real slow. So, well, it's actually speeding up a little bit. All right, so it's structuring. So we got uh, 0.98. We'll test it right there, and I moved this again. Okay. Seven. So 
it's getting worse. All right, now we'll make a change in it. Okay, you can you can see that it just see it's just all loose, but it's it's stuck to the top part, see. Eh? But it's loose down here. So what we're going to do is we're going to put some graphite on the graph foil. and then test it again. This should increase the amps out of it. Alrighty. Set for the back on now. Won't slide now. Now let's see what we're Voltages. And you know, we're right back up. 106, 4, 3. Start it over. Alright. Now let's see what our volts are for answer. 39. Way better. Alright, so we're at 106. And we started at 39. A dotted line here. Alright. Now let's see what our self charge is. Uh huh. Doing pretty nice. It won't be long till that's back up. Alright, and I'll be back in a minute or two. Alrighty, I'm back, and we are holding at 1005, 1005, and 30, oh, 37, I thought it was 35, but then it climbed. All right. I know there's people out there say, well, why don't you just put some activated carbon in there and really jack your amps up? Well, my answer to that is it's not time to do that yet. That's just going to confuse the issue and make it harder to uh, determine what's going on in the, in the cell. But I will do that eventually. All right, I'll be back. All right, I'm back. And uh, I took that other cell apart. I discharged it again at uh, 1.013, and we got 39 milliamps again. So that's basically uh, not going to do any more than that, I don't think. Uh, the, the the point of that was was to test whether it was good to put the the carbon on the on the paper with the titanium dioxide, and it's not. Uh, our, we got our best results from paper with titanium dioxide on, on both sides of it and I've made a, another one here and uh, this one is, is I dried it with a hair dryer and left it in front of the heater all night so uh, we'll see how this one goes now and put a little more graphite on the paper there And I switched this one out for an, uh, another one. Alright. This is really dry. I'm going to throw some water on it before I put it on there. good it doesn't get sticky or anything Thank you. 
pull it down a little bit. To Like it'll hang together. Alright, let's see what kind of bolts we got. And climbing. I think our other one that had uh, titanium dioxide and glue on both sides climbed too. jumping around a little bit as it water distributes I think. Now we're going back down. Alright, let me get let's give it a minute or two to settle in and then I'll be back. Alright, I'm back and I'm looking at these results here and we, we see the same patterns involved as the experiments from the last three days except that they're all at lower uh, amp values and so I'm thinking I changed something here experiments for the last three days were with the first batch of this batch all three of these were from another batch of borax papers that I soaked and I changed the strength of the borax and I'm thinking that that is what's making it uh, not as strong so I'm going to have to make sort of a new batch of borax fil filters and then we'll try this again alright I'm back again I went to take this cell apart so I could clean the plates and uh, the, the uh, zinc plate just lifted right off of there and I said, well, and it was dry. I thought, so it soaked up all that water. So make sure it's uh, got water back in it before you start testing it. So anyway, I, I charged it up and discharged it. And it went to 33 uh, milliamps. All right. Let's test it one more time. If we don't see a real significant increase in uh, amps on this, I'm going to believe that we got two problems the water procedure problem and the borax concentration problem so we want we get 32 so yep it's not producing the, the amps it should be all right I'm back and what I've done is I made a super saturated uh, borax solution and then I cut some uh, paper in half and I dipped it down in there and look see the salt on there there's a lot of salt and I, I soaked it down in the hot water and this little Teflon coated inside pot and I made my saturated uh, borax solution in, in this I decided I'd do a little experiment so I dropped some a drop of uh, of uh, white glue and uh, titanium dioxide on there. I figured it would spread out and then gel real fast and, and make little disc, you know. But uh, it didn't do that. It hit that, and believe it or not, it didn't gel at all. It dispersed out through the through the solution, and, uh, and without gelling, I went, "How's that possible?" Saying, uh, and I'm still not sure exactly what's going on there, but. I ended up putting a bunch of it in there and I took strips of paper like this and, and dipped it down in there and it came out with just it looked exactly the same as I'd coated it with uh, you know uh, sp spreading the, the uh, glue and titanium dioxide on it and it just